What's up everybody? It's Ben with SRKCycles.com and today I've got a 2016 Kawasaki Ninja 300. Uh, this is the ABS model that was an option that year and this bike does have it. Uh, 296cc motor, it does have a 6 speed transmission which is chain drive um, and this thing weighs in at like 390 pounds. Uh, I think that's dry weight but it is, as you can see, it's a Kawasaki green and black. Looking pretty good. Um, they're calling this the in-town commuter bike um, for a 300. It's actually pretty pretty decent from like zero to 60. I mean, nothing like super sport life, but it's a comfortable bike to ride. It's quick, it's light, and it's very enjoyable. So let's take a walk around this thing. As you can see, the rear tire there is in good shape. Lots of life left on that. There's the chain drive that I mentioned earlier. Here is your undertail for your license plate turn signals and tail light. I think it would have looked a million times better if you got rid of this giant hawking mess here, but that's how it comes from the factory. Uh, it does have the Leo Vents aftermarket exhaust. Carbon fiber is looking good. You got your passenger peg. You can see your rear wheel there. There is your rear rotor and the swing arm. There is a light mark right here. This little black mark actually is coming off with my finger, so that's nothing to be worried about. Probably just that boot caught it and just left a little rubber there. Uh, it has the seat cowl on it, which is looking good. There's your rider seat. All of this side panel is really clean. Um, here you can see your rider peg, your rear brake. There's the motor. Here we can see the rest of the front fairing coming down on the side underneath the tank. As you can see there in the tank, that is also looking good. Got the Ninja badge on it. it does have the Kawasaki down there on the belly pan. It has that like the sport bike low belly pan. There is some scratch here on the side. Looks like it just rubbed up against something. Maybe the wall in the guy's garage or something because it does not look like this bike was down. It does not have the other signs of that. Um, the, the plastics are nice, the mirrors are good. There's a small scratch there at, at the end of my thumb. And there is a little touch up on the, on the lever. Here you can see the uh, turn signal up front here and see it from the front. There's the nose, actually gonna spin it around a little bit better light. You can see the headlights. See your fender, front fender there. There's the ABS badge. You can look up in there to the front fairing a little bit. See those forks, it might be a little tough to see. But there's your front tire. Tons of life left on that. Definitely gonna pass inspection. There's your front rotor. That is gonna be in good shape. We'll take a glance at the wheel from the other side. As you can see, it's got the black wheels with a little bit of the green trim. It's got a nice look. Matches the rest of the bike really nicely. Here's the other side of the front fairing. There's just, there's some, there's a really, really light little scratch right there you can see, and one right there, but nothing down here on the low, on the belly pan. Everything is looking to be in order in the motor. Does not appear to be leaking anything or anything like that. It runs really, really well. We'll start it up here at the end of the video. Here's your rider peg, shifter, and your passenger peg. Here's the Ninja badge on the side of the tank. Coming across, everything on here just looks to be in good shape. No scratches or anything. Um, up here on the tail, there is a, a light mark right there. I don't know what caused that. All right, spin it around. Look over, you guys can see, uh, like I mentioned, this has the, the seat cowl on it. And here's the rider seat, there's the tank. Got the tank protector, there's your fuel cap. Got the Kawasaki Racing Team badge there, in case you're racing a 300. Everything on the top of the tank here looks to be in good shape, no scratches or anything like that. It's got those cool grips, they're actually really nice. Uh, very good on your hands. Mirror, mirror, grips on the other side, all the controls and everything. There is your gauges. Turn it on, you see it turn on. It does have the uh, the gear indicator here. It has 3,987 miles, 
We'll probably have a few more on that after Sean does the test drive. Do not miss out on the test drive of this bike. It is a nice little light bike. You can throw it around. Um, I'm just gonna start it up. so you guys can see all of it in one swipe. Um, like I said, don't miss out on the test drive that Sean does with this bike. Um, it is considered the, uh, the in-town commuter. It's fairly quick for what it is. Let's just check the turn signals, make sure they work. There's your front signals. And your rear signal. There it is up on the indicator. It is there. There's your rear signal and your front signal. Like I said, it's a 2016 Kawasaki Ninja 300. It does have the ABS. This bike is going to be priced to move. Check out the website for the price, srkcycles.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.